So ladies, what do you want to talk about? Okay, the guys who don't respect feminine energy. Grab whatever it is that you're sipping on. Let me put you up on game. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why in today's modern world do some guys not respect the beauty and the strength of feminine energy? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's start off with a story about April. Now, April's been with this guy for a while. Now, they're getting ready to go on this trip together and have some fun. Now, you know them trips, them vacations that you take when you're celebrating relationship milestones? Yeah, that type of trip. Now, April was excited. She booked their tickets and had their bags packed. Everything was going according to plan. At least that's what April thought. But that's when this guy dropped a bombshell on her. He said to her that he didn't want to be with her anymore. He said that they're not compatible and they had to break up. See, for April, this was off the blue. And just like that, he shattered her heart into a million pieces. See, she was stunned, speechless, and devastated. Think about it. She spent her time, energy, and resources on this. The time was planning the trip. The money was she booked their tickets. And the resources was the time and the energy that she put in to the relationship and this trip. So how could he do this to her? Why would he be so cold? Why would he be so cruel? Well, some guys suppress their true feelings for a while in order to get everything that they want out of a relationship. This guy has been able to come and go as he pleased, not really even spending more than two nights with her. But the thought of this upcoming trip made him confront the reality of the relationship. See, the pressure of spending extended time with her together triggered the realization that she's more serious about this relationship than he would like her to be, which led to the sudden decision to end the relationship. He didn't even give her a chance to say anything. He just walked out the door with his things and left her alone in the apartment, crying her eyes out. She gets herself together. She's calling him, texting him, no response. He even blocked her on every single social media platform. This guy erased her from his life like she never existed. So she did the best thing that she thought she should do, cancel the trip. Yeah, she was able to get a refund for the vacation, but she wasn't able to refund that time and energy that she put in. Real quick before I continue, if at any point I say anything that puts you up on game, go ahead and hit that like button, and I greatly appreciate it. Now back to April, she get a text with some screenshots from her friend. The screenshots is this guy on that same trip with another girl, laughing, smiling, walking through the airport, getting to the destination, going to the same hotel, doing all the things that they had planned doing. I'm sorry, the things that she planned for them to do. He looked so happy and so carefree. See ladies, I'm gonna keep it 100. Some guys resort to these tactics to put on a facade of happiness and to show you that they can move on. The whole point is to prove to themselves and the world that they can find happiness without their ex. I mean, why else throw it on social media? They're trying to get validation from others. So for April, this was like a knife to her chest. Now she's like, you just being disrespectful. How can you move on so fast? How can you take my time, my energy, and my resources and use it on someone else? Did she pay for it or did he come out of pocket for this? She's like, how can you easily replace me with someone else? At this point, she's feeling anger, betrayal, and humiliation. She wanted to make him pay, suffer, and regret his decision. But wait, there's more. In this video, I'm gonna put you up on game. Check this out, and I'll see you next week.